This is my friend's a 2002 Honda Civic, a little four-cylinder engine in it. It uh, died on him the other day, so we did some little some diagnosing and found a bad timing belt. So let's kind of go through and show you a few things that we found. Maybe it'll help you out and looking at some issues you're having with your car. He was cruising down the road and all of a sudden it just shut off and we went through and looked at a bunch of different things and it had fuel and spark and so we started digging a little deeper and found that it had a uh, timing belt went out on it. So uh, one thing that was kind of interesting is when we cranked it, it made it just kind of had a distinct sound to it. So I was going to crank it real quick so you can listen to hear what it sounds like. Okay, so that kind of definitely isn't a normal sound for cranking. Um, so what we ended up finding is we pulled the cover off. Here on the, let's kind of get in here a little bit. So you can see on the gear, the belt is still there. But when we zoom in, you can see that it just started shearing off all the, a little blurry there. It just started shearing off the teeth on the belt. So, where we're at now is uh, trying to figure out this thing's an interference engine so we're not sure if there's what type of damage has happened he said he didn't ever hear any noise when it went out so I'm not quite sure what that means but we're gonna dig into a little bit more and find out um, one thing that we did as well before we pulled the cover off is just uh, luckily on on this particular these little four-cylinder Honda engines you can look right down in there and see the rocker arms. Some engines will actually have a, a metal plate under there so you can't have a direct view. So when you put oil in, it'll kind of disperse it out or prevent it from splashing back through when the engine's running. But we took the cap off and cranked the engine and the uh, rockers were not moving at all. So that was a pretty good indication that the timing belt went out. So. Um, just kind of a couple little tricks. We'll follow up here in a little while and let you know what we found out. I know there's a lot of debate online about um, interference engines and what happens. So this car here, let me get down in there see if we can see a little bit better on the condition of this belt. You can see how it's actually cracked. This car has 230,000 miles on it. When he bought it, they told him that the timing belt had been done. But that looks pretty bad. I'm not sure. I'm not a timing belt expert, but I've changed a few. I've changed one on a pickup that had 180,000 on it, and it didn't look nearly this bad. So I'm kind of guessing that this one's never been changed, but it's just my speculation. Just to let you know how to get to a good view of your timing belt. There, you got to pull off your um, spark plug cover, pull all your coils out. Um, there's all kinds of little nuts here and there to pull this harness out of the way. Um, you have a few bolts. There's actually one bolt hiding right down in here that'll that you don't see right off. You got to remove that. Then there's this cover here. This is for the, um, the sensor right down in here. So you got to pull this rubber, grom it away, unplug the sensor, and get it out of the way. Then there's just a bolt right here. One two or no right there so one two and three right there so remove those three bolts yet the reason you have to pull off the valve cover is it has this lip right here that sits right over the top of this cover so kind of not too bad it comes off in about 10 or 15 minutes